hello students in this video we will see how we are going to measure the viscosity using capillary tube viscometer so the topic is viscosity measurement and the subtopic is capillary tube viscometer so another name for capillary tube viscometer is re is referred as viscosity to pressure converter that means input measurable viscosity will be converted to pressure as part of the measurement so that's why it is referred as viscosity to pressure converter wherein the output is delta p input is delta mu so delta p is proportional to delta mu and the outcome of this particular topic that is capillary tube viscometer are four one is the students will be able to draw the schematic of capillary tube viscometer and mention its elements the students will be able to draw the block diagram of capillary tube viscometer and mention the variables prior to the block and after the block and the third outcome we can have is the students will be able to explain about the working principle of capillary tube viscometer and the fourth outcome is the students will be able to write relation that is input output relation for the capillary tube viscometer so the possible questions on schematic drawing block diagram block diagram drawing on writing relation will be under the remember level whereas coming to explanation about working principle of capillary tube viscometer will be the understand level so this is the schematic of capillary tube viscometer so the input there is a inlet flow rate with a flow rate of q this is our test liquid for which the viscosity has to be measured and whenever it is overflown there is a spillover liquid to come the liquid outside so some particular standard level will be maintained across this particular tank there and the output of here will be connected to a capillary tube so across this input whatever the pressure exerted it is referred as p1 which is called as absolute pressure the pressure exerted by fluid or the viscosity is causing the pressure variation and that pressure will be referred as p1 here and the length of this capillary tube is l that is l is equal to l is referred as capillary length and the diameter of this capillary tube is d small d that is capillary tube diameter and across this slowly the fluid will be coming out and this particular tank is going to be filled up and the volume of this tank is referred as capital v here let us assume that p1 is absolute pressure exerted that means exerted here similarly here the pressure is exposed to atmosphere so it is referred as atmosphere pressure so whenever you want to take a differential pressure delta p we will write p1 minus p2 and usually it will be proportional to the delta h that is important parameter the delta h is referred as height of liquid level from overflow position to capillary position capital v is volume of collecting tank as i said earlier so to represent this capillary tube as a mechanical transducer simply we can write a capillary tube viscometer input is delta mu and output is delta p let us assume that i want to have my output as electrical output so this mechanical setup must be connected to another electrical type of transducer so that is what i have drawn here the block diagram capillary tube viscometer is the first block which will be referred as primary transducer for which delta mu is input and delta p is output here and uh, second transducer will be your pressure transducer any pressure transducer can be taken that pr pressure transducer must be in a position to measure the differential pressure and it should give a output voltage and there outwards this output voltage can be converted to current by using v2i converter into required range that is already we have discussed about uh, this particular ranges as part of different transducers what we have studied earlier that is usually whenever you are going to have output voltage we require in terms of 0 to 5 volts after proper amplification whenever you want to record the current we will take the current as 4 milliamperes to 20 milliamperes so for ultimately the current output or voltage output must be proportional to the input what you are going to measure here so whenever i am going to keep a some digital panel meter here the digital panel meter it will be displaying either voltage or current and these values are calibrated in terms of the input what you are going to have here and coming to the relation what we are going to have for capillary tube miscometer 
can be written as mu is equal to pi d power 4 into delta p by 128 q into l here pi is 22 by 7 d is capillary diameter delta p is differential pressure that is p1 minus p2 q is volumetric flow rate what is the input flow rate what you are going to have here and capital l is your capillary length so once you observe the parameters d is a constant capital q is to be maintained as a constant and capital is l is a constant so change in viscosity is proportional to delta p or delta p is proportional to delta mu for a fixed q if at all we want to take electrical output the change in current must be proportional to change in voltage the change in voltage must be proportional to delta p the change in delta p must be proportional to delta mu so this is corresponding to capillary tube viscometer this is corresponding to differential pressure transducer this is corresponding to i to v to i converter so whenever you want to take a block first block will be capillary tube viscometer converting delta mu to delta p second block will be a differential pressure transducer converting delta p to delta v third block will be converting voltage to current that is v to i converter so finally we are going to get the current output so usually electrical output is required so it may be voltage or current what you are going to have here so in this we are going to have a two measurements that is one is first measurement is to measure delta p that is differential pressure across capillary tube second measurement is to measure capital q that is flow rate volumetric flow rate through capillary tube and it should be maintained as a constant so we are going to record a constant flow rate we are going to find out the change in pressure across the capillary tube so the first measurement that is differential pressure can be measured using mechanical transducer like manometer so directly by using a manometer we can find out the pressure or by using any electrical transducer we can find out that that is what i have written here by using second transducer pressure change can be converted to voltage variation and then to current of delta i not proportional delta v not proportional delta p proportional to delta mu as i discussed in the previous page similarly the flow rate q can be measured by noting the time taken for filling the tank of fixed volume as we are collecting the fluid across some particular tank what is its volume simply take the volume in the numerator part and observe the time taken to fill the tank what are the volume you are going to have let us take 100 ml or 200 ml that we divided by this one so otherwise one cubic meter tank how much time it has been taken that is your capital q value so the input output relation as i discussed earlier this is our input output relation so we can measure delta p we can measure delta q so substituting all these things and substituting all these parameters we can find out what is your viscosity so for fixed parameters dl and assuming fixed q mu is proportional to delta p so the same thing what i have discussed uh, in the earlier block diagram i have drawn one more block diagram to give clarity for you for a electrical transverse and there we have block diagram representation first block will be capillary to viscometer a primary transverse which is converting viscosity energy to pressure energy second transverse is a differential type capacitor transverse converting pressure energy to electrical energy in terms of voltage then outwards this voltage has to be converted to current that is voltage energy to current energy then this current can be displayed across the digital panel meter dpm and this dpm will give some values of delta mu dash assume that so this delta mu dash are nothing but a calibrated values in terms of input what you are going to have here what is the input let us take i am measuring at 10 to 100 centipoise your output will be calibrated in terms of 10 to 100 centipoise that is the idea behind that and one more point to remember here is i have not mentioned the signal conditioning circuits here but differential type capacitance itself co comprise of a transducer based on a diaphragm based uh, capacitance signal conditioning circuit that is ac bridge circuit and amplifier and with the proper amplification only it is going to come outside that is voltage I hope uh, students you are clear with uh, the working principle of capillary tube viscometer and what are the relations behind that and what are the block diagrams. In the next video we will see the variable area type viscometer. Thank you.